As ever, it has been another action-packed season at the Irish FA, as the organisation continues to promote, foster and develop football for all, right across Northern Ireland. We kicked off in August with the launch of Catch Yourself On, followed by a trio of managerial appointments. Tanya Oxtoby as the senior women's manager, Tommy Wright as the men's under-21 manager, and Gareth McCauley as the men's under-19 manager. Back in Belfast, we hosted the first JD Academy Way Day, whilst at Moonview Park the under-21s slipped to a narrow defeat against Luxembourg in Tommy's first game in charge. September saw our new corporate events arm, NFS Events, continuing its business leadership series, and we welcomed Clearwater as a new sponsor of the Irish Cup on a bumper 10-year deal. In October, we launched our biggest consultation ever with the launch of the Youth Review, and our power chair team were at the World Championships in Australia. Our senior men's team beat San Marino 3-0 in Belfast in a European qualifier, and later that month Northern Ireland was confirmed as part of a successful UK and Ireland bid to host the UEFA European Championships in 2028. Glentoran were crowned winners of the Electric Ireland Women's Challenge Cup. In November, our men's under-17 side reached the elite qualifying round of the UEFA European Championship for the second year running. Back in Belfast, the cream of grassroots and community football was recognised at the annual McDonald's Grassroots Awards. On the senior men's front, Michael O'Neill's side registered an impressive home win in their final Euro 2024 qualifier against group winners Denmark, with goals from Isaac Price and Dion Charles. An event to celebrate staff who have given long service to the Irish FA took place a memorable evening for many people who have given 15 years service or more. The Clearwater Irish Cup fifth round draw took place in December, with teams from the Niffle Premiership and Championship entering the fray and both the senior and U19 women's teams hosted the Republic of Ireland, registering spirited displays but eventual defeats. The new year kicked off with an eighth goal thriller where a select Northern Ireland team of U15 and U16 boys from the JD Academy battled to a 4 all draw against Australia. We also thanked our captain fantastic Stephen Davis, who brought the curtain down on his illustrious playing career. And youth review roadshows kicked off across Northern Ireland, and a special event to share plans around doping control in Northern Ireland football were revealed. Our senior women's team took a big step in retaining their Nations League B status by beating Montenegro 2-0 in Podgorica, ultimately securing it with a one all draw at the National Football Stadium at Windsor Park. March began with a 10-year anniversary celebration of the Female Football Leaders Programme, our new senior men's and women's kits were launched through our partnership with Adidas and JD Sports. And the Irish FA Foundation's National Club Accreditation Scheme was celebrated. Staying with the Foundation, we partnered with Ulster Rugby and Ulster GAA for the annual Sports Inspire Awards. And at Seaview, we hosted a UEFA development tournament for women's under-16 teams. April marked the beginning of our senior women's Nations League campaign, starting with a goalless home draw against Malta we hosted the Harry Cavan Youth Cup final, with Lauren coming out on top. Immaculata won the McCombs Coach Travel Intermediate Cup for the first time in their history after a remarkable gritty performance against Crumlin Star. May the 4th saw Cliftonville lift the Clearwater Irish Cup after defeating Linfield. It was one of the most pulsating finals for many years. And we rounded the season off with the Funicab Craig Stanfield Junior Cup final, where two second half goals helped Ellenskill and Rangers defeat Cleary Celtic at Stanmore Park. That is your Irish FA season in review.